So using a mass spectrometer, you come over and you turn it on. Filament light comes on, it shuts off. Your turbo ready light will come on, it'll stay ready here, and your filament light will come on again before it's ready to go. High back, turbo, filament. So now you're ready to rock and roll. We recommend you use a calibrated leaf just to check and make sure it's calibrated. Shake it so as not to hear anything shaking to make sure it's not broke. Just in here, calibrated leaks 10 to the negative eight range. So we gotta go over there, hit start. Wait till it gets down, it should jump up to 8.2, 10 to the negative eight. And you see here, we're pretty close. You adjust it here with your calibrated adjust leak rate. It's right on. Close the valve, should go down to zero. About right. Go ahead and hit vent. Clears it out. Open the valve back up before you put it away. That's how you calibrate it. Now you're ready to go. So, leak checking, you would come over here. Your leak detector gets hooked up on the discharge side of your roughing system. There's a valve on all our furnaces that you should just be able to plug it right into. When you first start pumping, you just pump on your roughing system. So this valve would be closed. Make sure there's no leaks. If it pumps down, really good, you shouldn't have a problem. If it doesn't, you have to find your leak before you start pumping on the vessel. Then you come over to the computer. Go in here, go to your pumping cycle, start it up. As you can see, we're already started. So you go to your recipes, put your pumping recipe, download it to the furnace. Come over here, hit start. You have to get it below 100 microns in order to hook your leak detector up. Then you come back over here. Sorry, as you can see, we're already below 100 microns. Come back over here. I already have the leak detector calibrated and set up to go. Then all we got to do is open this valve up. Your pressure is sometimes will spike when you first open it up. Trace the mounting helium that was in this one before. Looks like it's going to sit on the eight range, and that's fine. Uh, when you do a leak check, you always start from the top of the vessel and work your way down because helium rises. Um, make sure you have it set really low so as not to flood your system. All right, so you come up top. First things you want to do is your power feeds. Try to make sure you get all the way around them. It's easier if you have a ladder. We're just demonstrating, so we're not going to get a ladder and get up there. Uh, if you go up there to check your power feeds, make sure you have power off. Going to, going to your power feeds. <laughs> uh, Any kind of flanges that have an O-ring in them, you need to check them too. Uh, your TC fittings are a good place to check. Is it any of the O-ring flanges? Like on the backfill valve, uh, your diffusion pump. Any of these fittings that have O-rings in them.
Got a little drifting. It's going up a little bit, but it's not going up drastically. So somewhere around here we have a leak. I think we just found the leak. See it jumped up real quick. If you go over to the leak detector, you switch ranges. It's all the way up into the six range. Shut it down so you don't have to listen to that. And I think you found your leak. So go ahead and tighten it up. That should bring the gas down. There's some gas in there, so it'll take a while for it to pump out of the system. Then you can be able to hit it again.